in West Papua today. So maybe you could suggest uh, how we move forward and uh, stop killing the West Papians. Can you just uh, reiterate, I didn't catch your name to begin with. Anthony Craig. Thank you. Okay. Well, th thank you very much uh, for that expression of uh, opinion. Uh, opinion. I must right. underscore, first of all, that I am here in my personal capacity, as I am now happily retired after more than three decades of uh, public service. Naturally, uh, I have a very different recollection and, 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 and uh, view of our past, of our history. And I hope you, you wouldn't mind too much of that if I don't burden the rest of the audience by trying to go one by one uh, to dispute all the factual assertions that you have made. Mm -hmm. Really, a very different uh, version of our recollection. And I'd like that to be based on record. But the idea, the notion of sharing in ASEAN is actually has taken place. As I had said before, uh, all throughout Indonesia has shared with our ASEAN friends developments in Indonesia, uh, whether it was the Moluccas, in the Sambit in, in, in Kalimantan when we had horizontal societal conflicts, in, of Aceh, of Papua. You know, I mean, as I said before, we were consciously and deliberately trying to, to change the dynamics within ASEAN. And it is in our critical interest as it is for us to have Australians uh, I mean, uh, uh, be informed for developments in Papua by engaging. Uh, the days of like, shutting down shop and, and not wanting to, to talk and to share is long past. Uh, but it is, it is an issue uh, that we need to be sharing and, and developing a common commonality or approach on, but uh, that's how it is. But, but Indonesia is engaged quite actively in the South Pacific nation, yes. nation. Um, and in fact there is, there is a, I would say, much more engagement by Indonesia in the South Pacific nations on this issue. So although to some people it may come across as being Indonesia being a rather big country, trying to sort of suggest things to smaller countries, do you, do you think that in the end actually it is going to be something that Indonesia can help Address through that dialogue with other countries? Well, I have been keen, I've been, I've been informed and part of such an effort in the past, you know, recognizing that there is a natural and fair attention from countries of the Pacific on developments in many parts of Indonesia, including in the provinces of West Papua and Papua. And so, given such a reservoir of interest and reservoir of will, even, it's best to engage and to inform. Uh, but, you know, we respect one another if there are differences of views and, and, and inclinations. Uh, it is what it is and let's, let's uh, have a good dialogue on it. And, you know, I mean, I've been through Indonesia of the past, meaning pre-1998 and the Indonesia of today. We are by no means perfect. We have so many failings and shortcomings and problems. But one thing that I am far more happier now than before is that we can talk about it. Uh, we can share it with our friends and, and you know, you can tell us what we need to be done but uh, at the same time, if there are factual differences about the interpretation, let, let third party objective uh, uh, audiences, including academics, perhaps to look at this in, in the in good time and objective. Yeah, you're, you're